Meghan and Harry's visit to Australia will be part of a multiple destination tour, likely to include Tonga, Fiji and New Zealand, to underline the couple's strong commitment to the Commonwealth. But regional governments including Western Australia are already lobbying Kensington Palace to secure a visit from the in-demand couple. Mark McGowan, the Premier of Western Australia, commented on a potential visit, stating, Western Australia is the Western gateway to Australia and is the ideal spot for the royal couple to start to finish their Australian adventure. We have so many unique experiences to offer and it would be a great honour if the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could spend some time getting to explore our extraordinary state. Getty Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are set to visit Australia in October for the Invictus Games. Getty Ms. Markle carried out her first royal engagement since her wedding today at Buckingham Palace Agatai Prince Charles visited Gove in Australia's Northern Territory in April Western Australia is the Western Gateway to Australia and is the ideal spot for the royal couple to start or finish their Australian adventure Mark McGowan Prince Harry last visited Western Australia in 2015 for a four-week secondment to the Australian Defence Force. He was stationed in army barracks in Bindu near Perth, as well as in Darwin and Sydney, and carried out training exercises and domestic deployments during his stay. The couple are also being lobbied by the government of New South Wales, who is seeking to secure a visit following the stop-off in Sydney for the Invictus Games. They will reportedly stay in Bathurst, a former gold and coal mining town located 200 kilometres west of Sydney. The town is located in the Blue Mountains, and is the site of the renowned Bathurst 100 Touring Care Race, which attracts thousands of spectators each year. The royal duo are even delaying the honeymoon plans to make way for their packed schedule of royal engagements and tours in the coming months. Prince Harry signalled his strong commitment to the Commonwealth after being appointed Commonwealth Youth Ambassador shortly before the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in London in April. Commenting on his appointment, he said, In my new role, I will work to support the Queen, my father the Prince of Wales, and my brother William, all of whom know that young people are the answer to the challenges of today. I am also incredibly grateful that the woman I am about to marry, Meghan, will be joining me in this work, of which she too is hugely excited to take part in. And speaking about the Commonwealth's young individuals in particular, he added, the young adults I have met across the Commonwealth have shown me time and again that your generation understands something very important, that to tackle a big challenge, you need to focus on the root causes, not the symptoms. As I travel around the Commonwealth in my work on behalf of the royal family, it is striking to see just how different today's generation of young adults are. You were connected. You have made positive use of technology to build relationships within your communities, nations and across the globe, you care. You want your nations to be cleaner, your planet to be greener, your friends and neighbours to be treated fairly and with respect, no matter their ethnicity, their religion, or their status, you are optimistic. The complicated challenges we face, climate change, inequality, conflict, they do not discourage you. Rather, they inspire you to persevere and affect change.